Hey, welcome to Black Lab Garage. Today's video, I want to show you how to remove the grill shell and grill on a 78 79 Ford, and we're going to swap it onto my 74 F350 ton truck because I don't like the split grills. I'm sorry to you people that do, I've never liked them. What I call the Uncle Jesse grill, you know, because everybody that grew up watching the Dukes of Hazard, you know, Uncle Jesse drove that old white Ford that had the split grill on it. I, I just don't like them. I much prefer the 78, 79 grill shell and grill. And there's always people argue over this. And let me just tell you, 78 XLT Fords did have square headlights. All 79s had square headlights, but 78 XLTs had square headlights. Now, like your Rangers and Custom stuff did not, but XLTs did. Now, not only am I going to show you how to take it off her, but before I swap it on, I want to show you how to polish them. Remove the anodizing and polish them, make them look good again. So, you ready? Come on, let's get into it. Say hi. Let's start taking all the screws out of the turn signals, the headlight rings, the grill, all that. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Now, most importantly, take some penetrating oil and spray these bolts. Otherwise, you're going to cuss enough to send 40 people to hell if you don't, trying to get these bolts out. Because most of the time when they're rusty like that, it will break the clip, and then you got to Try to get something in there and just cut the clip or cut the bolt. So go ahead and spray these ahead of time. Yeah, right, I'm trying to do this one-handed here, but take these two loose here on top. Take this one loose down here. go back and forth a few times to get it broke loose. Now you see why I said spray them ahead of time. Now take the rest of these screws out and there's two in the back side right here you gotta take out. This one here I'm gonna have to cut off. It broke the clip so I can't get it out. So it's gonna have to be cut. Now we gotta take these little screws out. Right here, right, just right around the headlight. Now you see these three screws right here? The only way to get to them is from inside the fender. And it takes a really long extension and you'll need a swivel like an extension that long. I recommend doing it by hand unless you know that your bolts and stuff are perfectly not rusty. Because if you use an air tool on it and you snap that clip, it's a pain to try to get a carbide burr in there and cut them. So if you can, if at all possible, do it by hand and don't break them. Now this very last bolt that's up here, it helps if you take this uh, side marker light out and peek in at the bolt because that thing is out of angle so you've got to have a swivel to get it out but don't get just a regular swivel one of them that flops around everywhere because it'll it'll just keep flopping all the way down to a 90 and you'll never get it on the bolt you need one of these right here they're a pain to get to like I said look through this side marker hole and it'll help you with that being said look here we got one side of the grill shell loose now so take these loose here in the middle then just repeat the same process that we did on the right, well on the left, over here on the right, and the grill shell will be ready to take off. Oh yeah, don't forget to screw down here and there's one in the middle. All right, now we're back over here on the 74, because you know, I told you we're gonna change the square headlights. So I took this piece here and the headlight assembly off my 78, and I went ahead and bolted up here and here, here and here. 
and what we got to do because here are the original two mounts for the round headlights from 73 to 77 for the split grill you can see where the new ones are at so take something and mark these holes which now keep in mind this is not a perfectly round hole from the factory they, they're actually slots just like these so drill your hole and take a carbide burr and slot the holes now and you can see we got a bunch of dents try to work out this thing there's some over here in the middle somewhere there's one right there and down here on the bottom as I hate to admit it I done this so let's flip it over and start knocking them out. Now, so you don't have to hit these things hard. I'm just using a small body hammer and extension. there in the very tip That's for the okay I switched from using my DA to using this little angle grinder but hey, these red Rolock discs they really take the anodizing off there that anodized made out of it. it smells like an Indian wrestler's jock strap it smells horrible now I've changed around on my DA I got an interface pad on it with 320 grit I like the interface pad because you can get on the curves and stuff now and you're not going to dig into it <laughs> Now here's where you're going to think I'm crazy. Get you some WD-40 or generic kind anyway, whatever. Spray us on here. Take a red scotch bright. But like I said, this thing ain't going to be perfect. It's going on an old farm truck. My nicer grill shell is going on the four-wheel drive. Now, switch off to a gray scuff pad and do the same thing. Gray scuff pad's just a little finer. I meant for that to happen. You rag and wipe that off.
Now take some mothers, Glenn Danzig's finest. Smear on here. Now take the buffer and start buffing. Now let me bring you in here. Looks quite a bit different, don't it? Now we just gotta do all the rest of it. All right, I've showed you how to polish the grill shell. Well, if your grill shell is kind of rough, or if you just want a different look, well, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. So. After you go over with a gray scuff pad, just like you did before you polish it, except this time we gotta clean it off real good. All right, got some lacquer thinner on one of these uh, microfiber microfiber rags. Gotta make sure we get all the WD-40 residue off of it. Now, I'm gonna put some of this Eastwood Diamond Clear on it because it's for direct to metal. Because the thing is, once you strip the anodizing off this grill shell, well, you know how fast aluminum corrodes and oxidizes, so unless you want to be out here polishing it every two or three weeks, clear coat it. There she is. Looks like a completely different truck now, don't it? Now then, I'm just showing you up close here. There ain't been no switcheroos here or anything, because remember that one place that was broken the grill shell? See, there it is. 
And that one really bad spot where it was mashed flat, that's it right there. You can just barely see. So, I didn't do no switching or pull a fast one on you. This is the same grill shell that you've seen come off that black truck. I do need to get a new front bumper though. That one's kind of rough, but we'll make do with it for now. And that's how you completely transform the front end of one of these Ford dent sides. I mean, I, to me, there's no comparison between this front end and the, what I call the Uncle Jesse front end. This is just hands down a better looking front end. So, I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to like, subscribe. You know, help me out. I gotta buy dog food again. Hit the thumbs up. Or thumbs down, thumbs up. And as usual, me and the pups, we really do appreciate you. Each and every one of you. Oh, and always remember, there's only two people that you can trust in this world. The good Lord and Mr. Ford. I'll see you here in short with another one. See you.